This video demonstrates how to use the Java EE8 server push feature to improve the perceived performance of the web browsing experience of an application using Application Developer. Server push is a feature of the Java EE8 Servlet 4.0 API that exploits the performance benefits of the HTTP2 protocol. It does this by allowing a server to send data to the client before the client requests it. For example, resources such as image, stylesheet, and JavaScript resources are pushed to the client when the server anticipates the client will need them. Server push only works over HTTPS with browsers that support secure HTTP2. Server push requires a JDK with AOPN support for secure connections, such as the IBM JDK version 8, which is included in Application Developer version 9.7. An application that uses the server push feature runs on a server that supports Java EE8, such as Liberty, which is also supported by Application Developer. You can use Application Developer version 9.7 to develop your applications to use server push so that your applications can optimize the perceived performance of the web browsing experience. Using Application Developer will enhance a web project to use server push. For this example, we'll enhance the web project called Web Market Research Customer. First, check that the web project supports the Servlet 4.0 API. Right click the web project and go to Properties, Project Facets. Note that the dynamic web module is at version 4.0. Expand the web project. Notice the resources that the web project contains. It contains a style sheet, multiple images, and a JavaScript file. Next, update the servlet and specify the push builder code. Enter the following. Obtain a builder instance for generating push requests using the new push builder method invoked on the request object. Notice that content assist is provided to help with the coding. Also, notice that there is an error indicating that push builder cannot be resolved to a type. You can right click the error and select quick fix. Then import push builder. The compilation error is now resolved. Next, check that the builder instance is not equal to null. If the instance is not equal to null, you can write the code to generate the push request to send the resources from the server to the client. First, invoke the path method. This takes an argument specifying the URI path of the resource. Then invoke the push method. For this demo, I'll paste the resources that I want to push. Notice that the web module is part of a larger application, and that application is packaged as an ear file using an enterprise application project. Here is the WAR file I updated, as well as a second WAR file required by the application. And here is a utility project. Make sure that the enterprise application supports Java EE8. Right-click the application, select Properties, Project Facets. Verify that the ear file is at version 8. Go to the Servers view. Notice that the Enterprise application is running on the Liberty server. Make sure that the server is configured properly so that the feature for the Servlet 4.0 is specified. To do that, double-click the Server Configuration, Server XML New Server, and select Feature Manager. On the right side, you'll see that Servlet 4.0 has been installed on this server. Another thing you can do is click the console view. This displays the Liberty server version, the IBM JDK version, and it also displays the features that are installed, including Servlet 4.0. Go back to the server's view. Now that the code has been updated, republish the application. 
Next, run the application. The first thing I'm going to run is the Market Research Moderator web app. Now, I'll run the Market Research Customer web app, which has been updated to do the server push with the resources that are a part of it. Enter the input data. Before clicking Submit, open the Chrome Developer Tools and verify that server push is working. Make sure the Network tab is selected. I'll submit the input data. Multiple columns are displayed in the Network tab. In the Protocol column, each resource must say H2. In the Scheme column, each resource must say HTTPS. The most important is the Initiator column, which indicates that the server push was completed, as well as the name of the servlet that pushed the resource to the client. The Console View and Application Developer shows that the application completed successfully. That concludes the Java EE8 server push demo.